Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrosch, and today's episode is episode number 203. And if this is your first time hearing this podcast, welcome, and please be sure to subscribe wherever it is you're listening to be sure that you can get new episodes every time they come out every Wednesday and Sunday. And now, a tale of honor. Donald was born on the 27th of August, 1939, in Black Fork, Ohio, a community where the majority of residents were descendants of free people of color from Virginia and North Carolina. Donald graduated from Decatur Washington High School in 1957, and five years later, he enlisted in the U.S. Army in Ashland, Kentucky. By the time he was deployed to the Republic of Vietnam, he was a sergeant with Troop C, 1st Squadron, 4th Cavalry Regiment, 1st Infantry Division, and it was his actions on the 30th of June, 1966, that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, For conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity, in action at the risk of his life above and beyond the call of duty, Troops B and C, while conducting a reconnaissance mission along a road, were suddenly attacked by a Viet Cong regiment, supported by mortars, recoilless rifles, and machine guns, from concealed positions astride the road. Sergeant Long abandoned the relative safety of his armored personnel carrier and braved a withering hail of enemy fire to carry wounded men to evacuation helicopters. As the platoon fought its way forward to resupply advanced elements, Sergeant Long repeatedly exposed himself to enemy fire at point-blank range to provide the needed supplies. While assaulting the Viet Cong position, Sergeant Long inspired his comrades by fearlessly standing unprotected to repel the enemy with rifle fire and grenades as they attempted to mount his carrier. When the enemy threatened to overrun a disabled carrier nearby, Sergeant Long again disregarded his own safety to help the severely wounded crew to safety. As he was handing arms to the less seriously wounded and reorganizing them to press the attack, an enemy grenade was hurled onto the carrier deck. Immediately recognizing the imminent danger, he instinctively shouted a warning to the crew and pushed to safety one man who had not heard his warning over the roar of battle. Realizing that these actions would not fully protect the exposed crewmen from the deadly explosion, he threw himself over the grenade to absorb the blast and thereby save the lives of eight of his comrades at the expense of his life. Throughout the battle, Sergeant Long's extraordinary heroism, courage, and supreme devotion to his men were in the finest tradition of the military service and reflect great credit upon himself and the U.S. Army. Donald's Medal of Honor was issued on the 13th of April, 1968, and on the 29th of May, 2016, a portion of State Route 93 from the village of Oak Hill, Ohio, to the Jackson County line, was named the Sergeant Donald Russell Long Medal of Honor recipient Memorial Highway in his honor. Donald Russell Long was 26 years old at the time of his death, and he is buried in the Union Baptist Church Cemetery in Black Fork, Ohio. And that was a tale of honor. Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor Podcast. Please head on over to talesofhonorpodcast.com for more information. Other ways to listen and support the podcast, and please be sure to leave a good rating and a nice review. The good ratings and nice reviews certainly help others decide if they actually want to listen to the podcast or not. And if you're listening, well, you know that they should. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them on over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.